A major controversy erupted a couple of days ago at the CELA conference celebrating in Mexico as a Venezuelan regime and Venezuelan dictator Nicolas Maduro were invited by the government of Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador, despite the fact that the United States accused Nicolas Maduro of narco-terrorism and he even has a bounty of $15 million on his head. Despite the fact that some Latin American leaders refused to make any comment about Maduro's presence at the event, there were a couple of presidents that actually had something to say about it. These were the cases of Uruguayan President Lacalle Pou and Paraguayan President Mario Abdo, who essentially claimed that their presence at that event didn't mean any kind of recognition of, recognition of the Maduro's regime. As a matter of fact, La Calle Pou went even further and criticized the left-wing dictatorship of Nicaragua and Cuba, which were also part of the event and played a significant role, actually. Naturally, this situation raised a lot of criticism against the Mexican government, but the Mexican government essentially defended itself on, on the, well, the historic Estrada Doctrine, which essentially suggests that Mexico shouldn't be involved in, well, in the issues of any other country except if it directly affects Mexico itself. However, this, I mean, I have to say this is, uh, this is essentially a lie, this is essentially a, a big contradiction because despite the Estrada Doctrine, Mexico has played a significant role in, in several conflicts, not only around the world, but especially in Latin America. And I'm talking basically about the way the Mexican government was part of the peace negotiations in order to, to end the war on El Salvador. So defending itself on the, on the Estrada Doctrine uh, it's nothing more than an excuse, es especially if we take into consideration the fact that the Mexican government, since the rise of Andrés Manuel López Obrador, has become one of the main partners, not only of the Venezuelan regime, but also of the regimes of Cuba and Nicaragua. So this is nothing more than another chapter of this partnership between the Palacio Nacional and the Palacio de Miraflores. And I have to say, it, it, is, it is quite concerning. It is quite concerning because it's no secret that Venezuela, the Venezuelan regime, has become the main problem in Latin America. I mean, all, almost every single Latin American leader sees the Venezuelan regime as a big problem considering the human, the human rights violations the economic crisis, and especially the migrant and refugee crisis that is affecting basically the, the entire region. So the fact that the Mexican government decided to, to accept the presence of, of the Venezuelan regime, I have to say it is a very concerning sign. A sign that, that suggests that Latin America seems to be willing to look the other way around, is willing not to criticize the Venezuelan government and is even willing not to play a significant role against this socialist regime that has killed so many people and that, that has ruined what it used to be the richest nation in Latin America. So. It is quite difficult to, to think about what could happen in, in the next few years, but everything suggests that many left-wing leaders will rise again in Latin America, and this could play in favor of the Venezuelan regime. So essentially what happened in Mexico with the CELA conference is, is nothing more than the signs of a pretty green future for Venezuela. 
Reporting from Medellin, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.